Hey guys, I, um, I'm here today to address the things that have been happening um, on the internet that are circulating in our community, in our jiu-jitsu community, something I, I love very much, something that I've spent a huge part of my life trying to grow and, uh, and contribute. I wanted to address the sexual allegations um, regarding teams and I wanted to put my own my own words um, on the subject. I have been quiet since my first response to everything that's uh, that's happened and today I wanted to come out and, and speak again um, and I wanted to speak on camera so you guys can see me you can see my face and uh, and know how I really feel about the subject. Um, I was quiet for many days uh, on this subject because of lack of words. I honestly didn't know how to approach it or what to say or how to even say it or if there was even words that could be said. I have realized that silence is the best way for evil to triumph. It's when good men stay quiet that evil triumphs. And I came to this realization and even in the people who are bringing this stuff to light because most people are trying to defend themselves and, and uh, counterattack and this is not the right thing to do. Um, I'm thankful that there's people bringing things to light and that they are um, addressing this subject because I have a wife and I have a daughter uh, that are part of the jiu-jitsu community and I feel like I eventually have grandchildren that will be part of the jiu-jitsu community. And I, the last thing I want is this to be a, a normal thing. So I've prepared a statement because there's so much to touch base on and I can't, I can't come off the top of my head with what I have to say to you guys because I won't touch all the points. And um, I wanted to address these these uh, these concerns and these allegations. And bear with me, I have dyslexia, so I have a hard time reading. Um, and I'm gonna read through my statement that I wrote. Uh, it took me many days now. I've been sitting back and kind of formulating this in my head. And um, here I go. In consideration of the additional recent allegations, I wanted to address and speak candidly and publicly regarding the recent revelations of the sexual abuse in the jiu-jitsu community. The accusations against fight sports, the association of Wagner Rocha martial arts, and my association to Marcel Goncalves. Please allow me to begin by expressing my deepest and sincerest condolences to the victims and their families. As a family man, namely a father to a daughter who has grown up in the jiu-jitsu community. It is every parent's worst nightmare to see their child endure what has happened to the victims that are coming forward with these awful experiences. Parents bring their children to a martial arts academy for the purpose of equipping them with safeguards to protect themselves, which is why it is especially disheartening when abuse happens in these settings. I was unaware and am in shock at the newly surfaced stories that are now coming to light over the course of the last few days. I am genuinely sorry for what has happened to these victims and I cannot begin to imagine the pain they must be experiencing. I do, however, commend the bravery of these victims for coming forward and sharing their stories. Victims should be able to come forward and openly tell their stories without fear of being judged or scrutinized for sharing what has happened to them. I have not come forward since my initial response, which circulated on August 12, 2021. Mostly because of my shock and also because I've struggled to simply find the words to say. 
The reality is there are no words that can heal the pain of these victims. And there are no public statements that would truly clear the air in the public eye. So I'm spending most of my time in this statement empathizing with the victims because they are the ones who deserve it the most. In regards to Marcel Goncalves, I admit that I should have ma managed the matter better. And in retrospect, I should have severed ties and had no further association with him. Concerning the rumors and speculation, I would like to set the record straight to Marcel's extremely limited involvement at VRMA, my school. Marcel was never allowed to be an instructor in my school and nor did he have any involvement with children at our school. And at no point were any of the students in danger of him. My desire to help his wife and child by inviting them to train at our academy led to a poor decision of having him at the school when they were in training. He also did train privately behind closed doors with some of our adult members from time to time. That was a mistake. And I take full responsibility and accountability for allowing him into my school. What I should have done was invited his wife and child to train, but not allowed him into VRMA in any capacity. I have completely severed ties with Marcel and he has not been to my academy in several months. If Marcel's involvement in my school caused any additional pain to the victim and her family or offended any of my members or made them feel unsafe, I offer my sincerest apologies. I'm sorry. I always wanted VRMA to positively impact future generations, to help them learn to defend themselves and provide them with positive support systems and community to belong to. By allowing Marcel in my school, I failed to stand by my principles. I allowed my desire to help his wife and child, whom I love, outweigh what was right and what should have been done. For that, I am sorry, and I'm attempting to make it right. In 14 years of running a jiu-jitsu school, we have never employed anyone with crimes against minors to our academy. We are always vigilant when it comes to our children. We have taken extra measures of installing cameras throughout our training areas. And while many gyms do not allow parents to be present, our gym is intended so parents can sit and watch their children as we instruct them. Despite my shortcomings, I know in my heart, and I know that the VRMA community knows that VRMA both has a safe environment an extremely positive impact on its members, especially the children. In regards to fight sports and the newly circulating allegations against the team, I am in shock. I have in large part been distanced from social media, but was confronted with these new allegations and my heart is broken about them. The horrific event that these girls are now sharing do not represent the fight sports that I have known. I, and I assure you that I have no knowledge and I have been completely unaware of these newly surfaced allegations. Wagner Rocha Martial Arts has always been an entity to itself, as is fight sports. As much as fight sports is a family to me, I have no ownership in fight sports. I am not involved in their administration. I have no decision-making authorities there, and I'm not consulted in their decision-making. The truth is I have represented fight sports as an athlete for many years. And although my name is well known, my affiliation with fight sports has always been as a student. Associating my name with any allegation against fight sports is not accurate. I am in shock at the newly surfaced allegations concerning individuals that have recently come to light. As I've stated numerous times in this statement, 
sexual abuse should never be tolerated. They should be fully investigated and the victim should be supported. And any cover up to attempt silence a victim is completely unacceptable. As I have made aware of these allegations concerning new victims, I pray for their healing and for their families. As their lives have forever been unjustly impacted by people who should have modeled leadership for them. Once again, I want to apologize to my family, the family that sits in this room every day here with me, the people I've shaken hands with, looked in the eyes, and have gained their trust. I apologize to you guys for making a poor decision. Um, I want you guys to know that I have love for every single one of you. No matter how you guys feel about me right now, I want you to know that my love will continue on. And I wish that everybody could be for a second aware of everything that's happened. Thank you guys for the support. There's many of you that have been sending me love and have been very positive because you know who I am and you know the character that I've, I've built. So thank you for this message and I'm sorry to everyone who has been affected by my poor decision. Thank you, take care.